What's good, y'all? Today we're talking about Blue Lock. If you ain't seen it, you're missing out. Basically a soccer anime. It takes place in Japan. Main character is Isagi Yoichi. This man is uh, lost on his national championship high school team game. And he gets invited to a facility known as Blue Lock in order to become the best striker in the world. Now, during this facility, uh, he meets all sorts of... Uh, Badass players such as Baro right here, uh, Kunigami, Nagi, you know, a bunch of characters. You just got to watch the show. But today we're going to be talking about Baro and explaining his awakening during uh, the end of the series. This is around like episode, I believe, like 16 to 18. All right. So right here, it's like past me, Baro over here. Shut up and stop ruining it, donkey. This is how Baro acts. He considers himself a king and uh, he will not pass to anyone no matter if he's can't make it to the goal no matter if he's double teamed like he's not passing at all whatsoever he, he thinks of his teammates as peasants and he's the only one that can score and this leads to them uh, giving up a few goals and basically rethinking their strategy at this time and, but it also, at the same time, uh, it fires them up, too, because they know that these guys are really strong. And as you can see, their eyes start glowing. This is my favorite part of the anime, when their eyes start glowing like this. Like, you already know it's from the turn up. All right, so at this point, uh, Isagi is just, like, thinking, like, with the jigsaw pieces. And he's realizing at this point, he's expecting Baro to change. You know, by trying to fit his play style, trying to, like, pass to him when he's open, trying to, like, look for plays. But he's realizing that this isn't this isn't going to work. We're not going to win this way. And he's recalling his past game before he uh, recruited Barrow. And he's realizing he has to change his way. You can't you can't change other people. You have to change yourself first. All right here, he refers to, like, devouring his play. And to me, what that means to me is like, he's basically just going to eat eat you and like do what you do better. Like he absorbs your play style in a way. Uh, if you read 48 Laws of Power, this is also known as like the mirror effect or uh, assume formlessness. So he's going to basically he's going to mirror borrow and borrow not going to. Baro's not going to know what to do because he's 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 mir he's being mirrored. He do he doesn't he doesn't understand. So this is the start of the awakening. Isagi starts off the play with a a feint. So he pretends like he's going to pass to Baro, but really he dribbles the ball. So now he's expecting uh, Kunigami to head towards Baro play defense when really Nagi is the target. So he passes to Nagi. Everyone is surprised. Because remember, they think he's going for Baro. Now, I know this is about Baro, but this man, Nagi, is just so cold. Like, look at this. This. Just with a tap of his foot. All right, here comes Ray, thinking they're about to double up on Nagi. Baro wide open. Kunigami's blocking him. Now watch. The plan is in motion. One person on Baro, they're double teaming Nagi. So you already know who's open. That man, Isagi. This is his plan all along. Now, why this is the start of the awakening is because he used Baro. Imagine using a king, what that would what that would do to him. Imagine using somebody in a top power and use them to reach your goal. Look at his face. Baro realizes he was used, and he knows that Isagi knows that you cannot change somebody, so he, he he's changing himself.
And in a way, even though this is all in his head, it's like Barrow is like reading his mind and understanding. It's like this darkness on the field. I will devour it and turn it into light. And remember, this man Barrow, if you've seen it, this man Barrow was calling Isagi worthless, talentless, donkey. Like, he said he wouldn't make it. And now look at him. Even got the other team like, damn, this man know what he doing. Did he see all this? This is Isagi. <laughs> this is the mirror effect right here. He's saying the same stuff they were saying to him. Don't get in our way, donkey. Breaking him down. And he's still trying to prove that he's the king on this field when he's not. So it's, it's, it's not enough yet. Now, Barrow's still trying to fight. As you can see, this is desperate. Pass, Barrow. We can counter. Screw you. So he's still not trying to pass. Gets the ball taken again. Breaking him down even further. Isagi shows up. It's like he knew. He already knew. Bar he's using him again. He already knew Barrow was going to get double teamed. He's evolving at an incredible speed. All right, at this moment, I would say this is phase two of the awakening for Baro. Right now, the field is being dominated by these two. Keep in mind, Barrow, has, Barrow considers himself the king. He's always the one dominating the field. He's never been in a position like this. This right here is the final phase of awakening. So he takes a selfish shot. Blocked. He misses. Now they go for the loose ball. Kunigami's on it. Boom. Nagi blocks him. Rayo coming up, passes, Is Isagi's trying to intercept, Rayo's not going for that at all, ugh, I'm not going to let you have it your way, boy, loose ball, it's going up, Barrow's rushing for it, thinking it's his chance, he's trying to, he's trying to take that shine back, you see it in his eyes, he's not going for nothing less. Ooh, Chigity right behind him. You know he's going to catch up that speed. So he's getting nervous right here. If he tries to take the touch, he's going to catch him. Now watch. <sighs> Since that energy, Isagi... Give me the ball. But look at that. It made the king shudder, and he just passes. It's the first time Barrow has passed. And then they score. God damn. Score is now 4-4. Four, four. That was a nice pass, donkey. You need to move so I can score. So he just rubs it in a little more. And this is this is Barrow's breaking point right here. What is this feeling?
So he's sitting there reflecting on what just happened. And in this moment, he admits that he lost to Isagi. So he's admitting that he's better than the king. And he's just remembering all the times he uh, was condescending towards Isagi. You know, calling him average. I'll do what I'll do. I'll do what I can do. I'm the best. I'd rather die than play for someone else. Like, he's... He's so uh, stuck in his ways. But in this moment right here, Isagi showed him something different. Realizes he wasn't a king. All right, so this is the final play of the game. They get an intercept. Slid. Taking such a huge gamble in the last minutes of the match. See the intensity in his eyes. Lose ball, goes up. The king. Let's go, donkey. You see he runs up. So now here, here becomes the awakening. So see, he, strangely, he's fine in it because he's no longer the lead. So he's fine with Isagi taking the lead now. He's never felt this before. He's never been in a position to where he's the support. Yeah. So now he's seeing it. They've shown him a new light. All right. Now right here, this might... This took me by surprise, I'm not gonna lie. It's like, so he, he finally understands the meaning of being, being a team. The error of his ways. And he had to be defeated to learn this. But as he's about to pass, something grips him. It's like, what's clinging to me? Is this the future that awaits me after this pass? I see. It's almost as if his pride It's almost as if his pride uh, won't let him. So even though he made that first pass uh, he's considering it as like an excuse like and he's refusing He's refusing to live in a future where he's not king. He refuses to live like this. So he does something called a chop faint. And he just awakens right here and now. Now they're still thinking he's going to pass. Runs up. Another chop faint. This is almost like on some Black Flash from Jujutsu. Like, this is lit right here. So Chigiri leaves Nagi. Now both are open. They're, everybody's going for Baro. But now that he knows defeat... He's going for his goal. And then he just devoured Isagi. And this was this was his awakening. Isagi had to bring it out of him by defeating him and devouring him. So that way Baro could understand.
I had to show everybody he's still the king. That's such a clean animation right there. This twisted path is my new kingly way. <laughs> He's the king. <laughs> 